Hello, everybody. My name is Patrick Dennis with Synaptic Advisory Partners. And so this is a really common use case for Eureka is people actually going out into the field uh, and filling out some of these forms that are prepared for them and then pushing the data back to Salesforce. Uh, a big part of that is the fact that the Eureka mobile app works without internet connectivity. So that's one of the stronger reasons why folks would fill it out on their mobile device. Um, or it's definitely a feature that a lot of our customers value. But in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to refresh my mobile app here. And the first thing I can do, I can see getting started with the template builder. And the, um, as we open up a brand new form, we're actually going to, it's going to ask us which account we want this thing talking to. So if you remember, we created field links based off of that lookup field. And this is where we can inform uh, the form record here, which account we want it to be communicating with. So I'm actually just going to type in Burlington Textiles Corp because that's an example account that we have in the system. And I'm just going to create the form here. And what you'll notice is that all the questions that we set out uh, right here uh, when we created the, the form template inside of Salesforce are now made available to us. So I'm just going to say that I love it. Again, there's our conditional display logic working for us. Um, and we also have the ability, uh, again, as we switch between the different questions, we're going to show different uh, questions beneath it. So all of that's working as we expected. Uh, the next section was just showing different pieces of content, so like an image or free text. That works the exact same way. So if I said I want free text, well, there's our free text. If I want an image, well, there's my face. Look at that good looking guy. Um, so we have the ability to show that the different pieces of information and content inside the form as we're guiding somebody through their process. The next section was using field links. And so in this case, we can see the account name is actually already pre-populated for us. And so is the website. So if I'm a mobile user and I actually want to change this stuff, Burlington Textiles for the demo, that account name will be changed back in the system. The website would also be changed as well. We'll also notice there's our link section so we can actually see the different contacts for the account are being, being pre-populated. And I can click into each one and fill out those fields that are also pre-populated. Um, or if I want to, I can add another contact here too. So we'll say that this is Jane Doe and we'll fill out the phone number here and we'll fill out Jane's email address. So now we've been able to update existing contacts. We're adding new contacts. We've updated based on the field link feature, uh, the account name, and we can see our manage template questions where we can just type test, 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 and we're done. And so if, as you can see from the mobile application, we can click submit right here and it's going to push all that data back up into Salesforce. So we'll give it a minute. We can see that our template was actually completed. And as I open up the account, we'll already see that the account name itself was completely updated uh, for the demo. And we'll also see that any of the updates that we might have had to contacts in the system have been made. We inserted a new contact record for Jane Doe and most importantly, the full form that we just filled out is now made available inside of Salesforce to us because it's its own record and it's related to that account uh, with, based on that lookup. So now we can see all the different pieces of information um, that were collected based on that form. The only other way, or I suppose one of the other ways that we can present this to our users would be to fill it out on the desktop UI, which works just the same way. I just have an example here of a button that we could launch this form from and I'll put a link in the description as to uh, you know, how we can launch, uh, how we can build these buttons to fill out forms. But what a user can do is they can click on this button and it'll open up the same Eureka template that we created just a moment ago um, as a brand new form record here. So we'll call this form two. We'll say that I love it. There's our same conditional display logic and we'll proceed. There's our account that's being pre-populated for us already, so we'll change it back. Burlington Textile Corp of America. We can see all of our contacts there have been updated. We'll add one more. And we'll call that good. We 
Jones. And we'll call it done. And we click submit, and then the user's taken right back to the account record where they came from. With that fourth contact being updated, with our account name being changed back to what we had it before, as well as the second form that was just submitted for this record. If you have any other questions on uh, how to get started with the template builder or, or how to utilize Eureka for your specific use case, you can visit us on the App Exchange or visit our website at eureka.io and we'll be happy to talk to you about how Eureka might be able to work for your business.